the problem is uh, every time my wife fights with me she says that we cannot stay together i have to think whether i can stay with you or not so i have told her that do whatever you want to do but i am not going to utter talaq i am not going to give you divorce now a few days ago she was fighting with me from maghrib to isha and she was fighting for no reason and she said the same thing so i told her that you can take khula if you wish i am giving you khula i said this in local language which meant that uh, i will give you khula if you want so it's in future so she said okay then i said that you have to give my meher back and she instantly returned my meher to my bank account so both of us did not have the intention to get separated and i stretched the fight this far because i knew where to draw the line after receiving the meher back i did not say any word of separation uh, because i learned from islam ki way that uh, we have to say words like uh, farak tuki or khala tuki or similar words uh, but i am confused now whether we are separated or not so are we separated now do you have kids no why would you want to stay with such a woman uh because i love her yeah and with all due respect and i know she's listening and i could care less my gloves are off if you come for me for consultation i'm not going to sugar coat it <laughs> to you one woman who you're married to and i know you're not perfect you know you have your flaws and your shortcomings but if she keeps on nagging you about divorce and wanting khul and you don't have any kids the trajectory of your marriage is the curve is pretty obvious is this a long term investment or a short term investment if she is not interested in you she is disrespectful she is not happy with you and keep on insulting you and humiliating you and wiping her shoes uh, over you like a doormat and you say well, i love her love what this is come on give me a break if she is interest it takes two to tango of course with the islamic nasheed and she's your halal spouse not with your girlfriend but it takes two to tango if she's not putting any effort in the marriage and she keeps on coming up with request of divorce and and khul' the prophet said that any woman who asks for divorce without a a a a reasonable and legitimate reason and cause she will not find the scent and odor of jannah so why would you stay with such a woman akhi you're still young get someone younger more beautiful more committed more religious more obedient and more willing to make you happy i know women would not like to hear this sheikh we have mood swings so tough luck i married to have peace and comfort and tranquility in my house if you're going to keep on nagging me if you're going to be my mother again i don't need this alhamdulillah the demand is far less than the supply there is a lot of supply you know your limits i know my limits we have shortcomings we can solve these but every single time you pop up with this you don't need this yani yeah, nonsense but anyway anyway is there any khul' no there is no khul' as long as you if she transferred the money to your bank account and you did not say i give you khul' or i give you divorce this does not take place and allah knows best